Hello, this is Bryant Myers, author of PMF, The Fifth Element of Health, and this is the second video rebuttal to Dr. Truat, who unfairly and unscientifically showed that supposedly the IM rest and the beamer have electrosmog, when in fact neither of them do, and, and neither does the QRS in all fairness. But Dr. Truat was showing the QRS was electrosmog free, and supposedly the beamer and the IM rest had electrosmog, and he was using very sloppy uh, measuring procedures probably in a room that had a lot of stray fields. Now I'm doing this in my bedroom because I am opted out of my smart meter. I don't use Wi-Fi. I don't use uh, cordless phones. I don't live anywhere near a cell phone tower. So this room in my house is very clean. So I'm trying to get the cleanest room possible. And there's just a little bit of background noise. You can see I haven't turned anything on yet. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, just like last time. So now let's turn the, the beamer on and let's see um, if we can measure any electrosmog here with the beamer. Because again, according to Dr. Truop, both the beamer and the IMRS both had electrosmog. And it's worth noting that both the beamer and the IMRS, I didn't mention this last, last time, have an AC to DC converter. And that's actually filtering at the wall the, the AC to DC. It's, it's converting it to a clean DC signal. So that actually really helps to minimize electrosmog. So both the beamer and the IMRS are doing that. So with the unit turned on, um, you know, just, just a little bit, not, again, we had a background noise of about 0.2, so really nothing coming out, and we're going to use the highest intensity, just like we did with the IMRS, because we want to show that even on the highest intensity level, the Beamer does not have any electrosmog. So let's start it, so we're going the highest intensity, that's level 10 on the Beamer, that's as high as it goes. Okay, again, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, really just no electrosmog, because we had a little bit in the background, remember, when we started. So they're, they're, it's really hard to get away from electrosmog in this world completely. But when you're down around 0 0.1, 0 0.2, that's a very, very low level. So now I'm going to come over here and we're going to look at the, the Beamer mat. Again, this is on the highest level. You can hear it, right? So 0 0.1, very, very low. That was the background, zero. Like the IMRS, the Beamer is 0, 0.0. Neither the IMRS nor the Beamer have electrosmog. And just to prove, this is the MicMag Handy. That's showing you the magnetic field is on. So you can see that's measuring the magnetic field. And it makes it audible. And, and like the IMRS, even two, three feet above, there's still a field, right? So again, to dispel those high intensity companies that say that there's no intensity in a, in a PMF unit that's a low intensity, more than a couple inches, that's just bogus. And it's based on the wrong equation, as I mentioned before. But again, that's not the purpose of this video. We're trying to show that neither the Beamer nor the IMRS have electrosmog, and neither of them do. I mean, 0 0.0, 0 0.1. So the, the Beamer, like the IMRS, is electrosmog free. And I'm going to do a similar test with the QRS, and I'm guessing it's also going to be electrosmog free. But it's really a shame that videos like Dr. Truat, who was who, by the way, is a distributor for the QRS, so he has a vested interest in making any competitors look bad. And the guy that was there filming it is one of the main distributors for North America. So obviously they have a vested interest in QRS, so it's not a very unbiased video. So I want to show people that, and I do feel that the IMRS, Beamer, and QRS, in that order, are the three best PMF devices. And... I feel they're the antidote to electrosmog. They're not a source, they're the antidote. And you know, in my book, on chapter seven of my book, I have a whole section where I show that low frequency, low intensity devices are like taking an electromagnetic bath that washes your biofield of that dirty electricity. So, and, it went, and I, can t I test this myself. If I'm having a day where I'm on the computer for a long period of time, I'll lay on the IMRS 2000 and I feel just my body relax. It's almost like all that static electricity from the computer gets washed away. And even Dr. Magna Havis, who's a worldwide expert on electrosmog, did a study with, you know, the IMRS 2000 or the MRS 2000 and found also that her blood dramatically changed before and after being working on the computer. So again, Low frequency, low intensity is the antidote to electrosmog. It's not a source. So thanks for watching this video and 
in the next video, I'm going to do a similar test with the QRS, and we'll see probably that all three are electrosmog free. If you have any questions or you're confused by Dr. Truott's videos, feel free to call me 941-928-0124, and I'm happy to help you and dispel that unfortunate myth that Dr. Truott and QRS is trying to spread. So again, thanks for watching and have a great day.